one of our good friends of the show. Mm-hmm. Is Jackie joins us. Good evening, Jackie. Oh, Jackie. Good evening, Matt. Hi, Carlton. How Hi. are we? I'm good, Jackie. Good, good. First of all, um, straight back at Pat. Happy Easter, Pat. Yeah, um, he, oh, he loves you, guy, by the way. He loves you. I, am, I know. <laughs> He's a lovely guy. Yeah. But... I'm not happy because he said he wanted Arsenal to beat. I know. He did say, he did apologise before he said it, though. He says, my friend Jackie, (laughs) I'm so sorry, but he wants Arsenal to win. He wants the the London club to have the title. Well, well, we'll see. And Milton and Mark want City to win. Mm. But Adam, he's a star, he cracks me up. I go to Old Trafford every time I go, we lose. (laughs) Well, I hope you lose next time you go because we're asked to win the league. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I know, I know, it's crazy. But he's, he's got to like, adhere to his wife at home, obviously. So it's a, it's a, I know, it's a hard I know. one for Adam. It's all a bit of banter. Yeah, exactly. To be fair, I think um, it's going to be a cracking game on Sunday. And I couldn't call it, even as a City fan, I just can't call it. Um, obviously, I think we've, you know, we've, we're favourites because we're at home and there's a great big banner going across the East End. I'll follow you everywhere. Ooh. And if, if we're the 12th man, I'm sure um, we can get over the line. But my concern is John Stones and Kyle Walker. Yeah. Definitely not playing. Definitely not do, playing. Do you think they're not playing? Or is that, what, is that what the word on the street? No. Pep actually came out, Carlton, and said it on his press conference oh. this afternoon that they're not playing. But Ooh. Edison's oh. back. KDB's back. Harlan's back. Nunes. Mm. So it's just those two, but it's the defence. But you know what Pep's like? He's trapped to curl. He can do. He can turn the defence around course. some way or another. He'll sort it out, won't he? But yeah. I'm really looking forward to it, Matt. So, I'm really listen, looking forward if the to worst it. Can, if the worst is going to happen and you do end up succumbing to a loss, where do Man City go? Are they still in the title race? No, or is that, no, is no, that, no, is no, that, no, is that a massive, off. is that a massive hit at only this stage? four points if they lose. Psychologically, um, mm. it could be, but you know what City are like, don't we? You know, they can go on these mad, crazy runs. I mean, we've not been beaten since we played Villa at the beginning of December. Mm. We've gone on 22 game unbeaten runs. So I just, I just hope that if we do, well, if we do lose, that we can, like, come back next week. Like you say, we've all got Liverpool, City, Arsenal have got to play Spurs. United have got yeah. to play Liverpool. United have got to play Arsenal. There's some big Champions. games coming, Jack, isn't and there? You know, Across you know the what board. United are like? You, United can be like on and off. Because Jekyll and I, they are. Yeah. And beat, beat Liverpool and beat Arsenal. You just don't know, but... Anyway, guys, have a lovely Easter and thank you for letting Thanks me Thanks for calling in, Jackie. Jackie. it's always a pleasure. Thank I'll you. I'll call up on Sunday, Matt. Yes. We win. Please do. I've got Troy Deeney with me on Sunday, so... We're gonna, okay, okay. Yeah, lovely. Thank you, Jackie. <laughs> uh, cheers, Matt. Enjoy, enjoy your Easter. Uh, so, yeah, you know what? It's, it's an interesting one because first time I'm hearing a lot of the City fans, and they're a bit dubious. They don't yeah. seem as confident as normal. Well, well, it's a big... Stones is a massive miss. Yeah. Carl Walker's a massive miss. But you then depend on what Pep's got under going, his sleeve. Going forward as well. Going forward. KDB's back. You've got Haaland. Um, so you've got some good players coming back from injury. So it's going to be an interesting one, and I'd love to see how they start the game. I think it's all in the start, this game. And um, if you see City dominate, and I think they will probably dominate possession, uh, see how Arsenal react to it. Uh, I don't know if Saka's going to be fit. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think he will be. Yeah, well, that's going to be a big plus for Arsenal, and um, they should they should do something really worthwhile up there. I think someone like Doku, if he starts, can really play a big part in this kind of game. Yeah, so Doku, we've seen him, obviously we saw him in the, in the England game. Yeah. And he was outstanding. I thought Gomez done a good job on him, to be fair, yeah. but he was just um, something else. He's electric, isn't he? So he's going to he have really a is. significant role to play in this game too. Absolutely. And as I mentioned before, I think someone like Declan Rice and his, his ability to lead. You know, Arsenal, they're going into this game after losing last year at the Etihad in the way that they did. Yeah. A more mature side, a side that's yeah. grown together. Yeah. And it seems like ever since they went to Dubai to go and see the Salt Bay. I know, what's happening there? It's like magic and with the And Ben White's just come back from Dubai, isn't he? So he's going to be what, he's gonna be firing on all cylinders. I'll tell you what you saw on the plane. Well, I didn't. The boys that came to Miami with me did. And Ketia, uh, Emil Smith-Rowe, and uh, I think Reese Nelson. Coming from where? Miami. Ooh. That could go... I used to go to Miami, and that could go south. <laughs> it's not my form. My that form could go took, south beach. My form took. Yeah, <laughs> my form took a little hit whenever I came back from there. So uh, let's see what. <laughs> we'll only see what happens to them. 
The Sports Bar Weekender. Decisive Football Radio. Friday nights from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.